You may have seen the ridiculous commercials or heard the ridiculous claims, but there may actually be some studies to back this up. I'm talking about those ab stimulating belts. Do they actually work? Can you train your abs effortlessly? What if you wore one of these all day long? Would my abs get toned? Would my waistline shrink? Would I, quote, burn fat? Well, that's exactly what I decided to find out in this one week experiment wearing an ab stimulating belt. But you gotta focus. Okay, that's what we're dealing with right here. I thought it would be bigger. <laughs> Do not heat the fitness apparatus or remote control in the microwave. That's it. Like what? You need to spray some clean water onto the pad. To increase the strength, you gotta press up. Oh! Oh. <laughs> it's like electrocuting me. What the? How am I supposed to sit there all day with this on? Mode two is a sit-up pattern. That one's jolting the abs. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh man, maybe I'm just sensitive to this. Gosh, that is weird. Every time this thing flashes right here, that's it like shocking me essentially. And then I turn this up and it increases the strength. So can barely feel it like at all. I still can't really feel that. But then all of a sudden, ah, starting to feel that. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, oh, I can really feel four. Do you guys see it working? What the ah! All right, so we're just gonna like keep this thing on and we're gonna go work. All right, I gotta zone out. Just gotta let it work my abs. So ab stimulators and devices alike are said to work by electrical muscle stimulation. That's just a fancy way of saying sending electrical signals to contract your muscles or shocking the muscle, literally. Which is most likely why I felt like it was shocking me at first. Now I do have to tell you, it wasn't so much like a sharp shock pain, it was kind of like a more dull shock pain, but either way, call me a sissy, I'm just not someone who likes to have the feeling of being shocked in any way. Alright, so it's been about 30 minutes and I'm like, kind of like almost sweating, like every time I just like kind of jolt on this thing. Okay, it's recommended to use 12 to 15 minutes per exercise, 2 to 3 times per day. Yeah, so I've already had it on like 30 minutes and I'm like extremely uh, just uncomfortable right now. Now based on my research, if you're interested in an ab stimulating device, you should exercise per caution. In fact, most of these devices like this one sold on Amazon are going to be unregulated which means they're not FDA approved. According to WebMD, unregulated ab stimulators carry a higher risk of burns, bruises, skin irritation, electrical shock, and problems interacting with other medical devices like pacemakers. Now the one I ended up buying, I could not find any certificate of authentication. I'm sitting here editing this video, getting some screen footage. Uh, you know it's bad when the English is just so broken. Reminder, keep your skin moist when use the belt. Use it correctly and insistently, you will see an distance effect. An distance effect? What? But it was the number one bestseller. <laughs> and the price was actually a lot cheaper than some of the other comparable models. But then again, you gotta keep in mind there are techniques some of these companies do to get their product to be the number one bestseller or to get a bunch of comments on their product. So it doesn't always mean it's a good product. Just remember at the end of the day, I assumed the risk and I decided to go with this one. And so far it seemed like it was working like it was supposed to. Uh. So I've had this thing on for a little bit over an hour now. I went all the way up to four, but I've only been able to keep it on three. I don't even know how high this thing will go. I could see, holy crap. It looks like it can go up to 15. That's gotta be insane. Dude, am I just a weenie? If they can go all up to 15, that's like five times more. Oh man, why? Okay. Ugh. Good morning, guys. All right. Now, I've actually got a dentist appointment in about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna pop this thing on, head to the dentist, and you know what? Hey, hopefully this thing will take my mind off of them just reaching around in my mouth. Ah, oh, there's that feeling I just can't wait to be done with. Training abs in the car. It feels like it's actually getting weaker right now. Like, it's not feeling as intense. I don't know if that was just because it was going while I was having stuff done to my mouth. Uh, just a cleaning maybe if it's just getting weaker or i'm getting more used to it so i might 
I might bump it up in a bit. It feels like I'm having an ab muscle twitch. It seems to work better if you relax and don't like fight it, you know? Beautiful day to train abs without training abs. So it comes with this little charging cord. It's just a USB plug. What am I supposed to plug this in my laptop or something? I wish it would. they would come with a plug, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna plug this into my iPhone charger right back in here. All these wires, yeah, that's probably a safety hazard. So we'll let this sit for a bit. And then uh, hopefully it'll be fully charged. It's later in the afternoon. I'm about to go to the gym. During my workout today, I'm going to be wearing the ab stimulator. I guess it's fully charged because it's just off. There's no light anymore. Let's put this thing back on and get stimulating while we're working out. Oh, yeah, it's going. Working out with the ab stimulator seemed to take my mind off the constant jolt on the abs. In fact, maybe the muscle contractions in the other muscles that I was working out was somehow neurologically taking my senses away from my core. Also, it could be because I had it only on a lower level. We'll see later when I bump it up to a higher level during a workout. Now don't get me wrong, even at this lower level that I had it on now, it was still uncomfortable and personally I'd much rather work out without wearing some kind of ab stimulating belt or any kind of device. Regardless for this video, we kept it on during the workout and on day 2 the total time wearing the belt was around 2 hours. Alright, good morning guys. Now level 5 is pretty intense, like I've only been able to do it for, you know, like 30 seconds. So maybe if I can get level 5 for like 20 minutes and then I'll bump it down maybe to level 4 for like an hour. But yeah, I feel like I am getting more used to this thing and I feel like it, like just looking at my abs, like they look a little like bigger. So is it working? Maybe. Look at that thing bump. Was this actually starting to work? What did the study say? One study I found had 24 adults wearing a neuromuscular electrical stimulation device that's supposed to be similar to the one I have on my abs, five days a week for 20 to 40 minute sessions for eight weeks. And compared to the control group, the stimulation group had a 50% increase in abdominal strength, also a 100% increase in abdominal endurance. Uh, man, it's hard to concentrate with that thing just constantly going like, ah. Uh. Now also the waist circumference of the individuals wearing that neuromuscular electrical stimulation device measured on average 3.5 centimeters smaller than the control group. Also, all 24 subjects in the stimulation group said that they felt their midsections were more toned and firmed and over half of them felt their posture was improved as a result of the stimulation. However, it's very important to note that there were no significant differences in body weight, BMI, or skin fold thickness over the course of the study. Oh. So unlike the first day where I only did it once for like a long time or the second day where I did it twice, I'm gonna try to break this up today, maybe like three times, four times. I'm gonna let this roll for like 40 more minutes, take a break, then I'm gonna put it back on again. So just got done shaving, but now I'm gonna shave my stomach so that we can get a nice close contact with the ab stimulator device before my hair on my stomach gets way too out of control and maybe prevents the thing from working so well. So I was actually a little worried that the growth of my stomach hairs was preventing maximum conduction between the stimulator device and my abs, which may have been the reason I was getting used to it. So in order to see and hopefully get the maximum benefits, I shaved my stomach to get the maximum amount of contact. All right guys, Moment of truth, freshly shaven abs. Is it gonna be more intense? Let's find out. Oh, oh. All right, it doesn't feel like it's any more painful or anything like that, but I do feel like I'm getting a really solid connection. Oh man, when it really goes fast, that one is so weird. Gonna try to keep it on level five for about 20 minutes, then bump it to level four for the rest of an hour like I've been doing. Man, should we try level six right now? I'm afraid. Ah! Ah, ah, I can't do All right, level six for another day, y'all. Level five right now. So for me, it was difficult to concentrate at work even on the lower levels, but when I turned it up to level five, which was now the highest level I've been at for me, it was just too uncomfortable to really concentrate on anything. So I ended up kind of just laying around and letting the stimulator do its work. And in all honesty, this kind of makes a point right here. Why not just put in the effort to work abs? I mean, this is just as uncomfortable, if not more uncomfortable. Well, there might be one reason. Ah. All right, 20 minutes is up, turning it to level four for the next 40 minutes. Boom. A little bit more, 
bearable. Well, one reason to potentially use neuromuscular electrical stimulation is to prevent atrophy or loss of the muscle during prolonged periods of immobilization, for example, when recovering from an injury. In several studies, neuromuscular electrical stimulation was shown to be superior in preventing muscle shrinkage when the knee was immobilized with an injury compared to groups who had no exercise. Now, something absolutely fascinating I discovered in my research was that voluntary exercise apparently recruits the muscles in a favorable order, first starting with fatigue resistant type 1 or slow twitch muscle fibers, and then moving to the more quickly fatigable faster twitch type 2 fibers. Whereas with neuromuscular electrical stimulation, the order of activation seems to be reversed. Could this potentially be a secret way to help further stimulate and unlock new strength with those fast twitch type 2 muscle fibers? I don't know, maybe this is something I need to explore further. Maybe, maybe we are getting some action. Oh, it's like I can still feel it twitching. My abs aren't sore, is that weird? So even though I was starting to get used to this thing, it was just still very uncomfortable. And one more thing to note, eating or drinking anything while having this thing on was also just a very strange feeling. But with that being said, I felt like it was time to bump it up and hit the gym. All right, starting with four, but we'll bump it up in the gym. Let's get this working. So I decided to bump it up to level six and beyond in the gym this day. And let me tell you, I felt like instead of the workout distracting me from the belt, the belt this time was starting to distract me from the workout. It's like, I can't, I can't focus on the exercise. I'm like, I feel like my organs are just like throbbing in here. I gotta turn it down. Oh. Some exercises actually felt like they took my mind off the belt more than others. I believe those where I braced my core more, for instance, doing bicep curls, I did not feel the ab stimulator that much. What is going on down there? But when doing something like laying down on a bench or other exercises where I kind of could relax my core, it felt like the belt started to take over and it was very uncomfortable and distracting. In fact, it felt like it was kind of hindering my workout. I'm like, I'm like, it's like, it's going like through my body. Now, even with me getting more used to this device and being able to bump it up to a higher level during my workout, I was starting to question, was this thing actually even really working. You can see it, like Jay can you see it? It Oh, Five is the new norm, guys. Five is the new norm, but seven? You're like twerking on seven. I know, I'm like, it's going through my body. <laughs> just got done in the gym. We were in there for like an hour. I don't know how to explain the feeling other than just like, yeah, I just gotta take this off now. Oh, oh. Ab check. How do they look? Like not there at all. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was just like too much, man. They like they don't really feel like they got worked. For some reason, this time it felt more just like, look, 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 look. I don't even know if it's working to be honest with you, but we gotta keep doing it because we'll that's see. what the challenge is about. <laughs> but it just felt like it exhausted me more than anything. So I actually did reach an equilibrium where I could pretty much concentrate on work while wearing this thing for up to about an hour. Now I only wore it for an hour at a time, then I took about a one to two hour break, and then I put it back on for an hour, and I only did this three times, but it totaled to approximately three hours a day for days five and six. Keep in mind, I charged it regularly, and I also frequently wiped it down with some alcohol wipes. And this thing actually did turn off sometimes, I think when I didn't push the buttons or anything for a certain amount of time, so I just had to turn it back on. Oh, seven baby, should we try eight? Oh, frick. <laughs> when it gets to like the fast pace one, it hurts so bad. So would this ab stimulator device actually yield results? Was I wearing it too much, too little? What if I wore it for a whole entire day? Well, we still had one day left, and that's what I wanted to find out. Good morning, guys. So today is day seven, the final day of this electric ab experiment. I am going to try to wear the belt the entire day. Tighten that up. There we go. Oh, yeah, nothing to wake you up in the morning like a belly jolt. Oh, yeah. 7.30 a.m. I'm gonna keep this on until 7.30 p.m. It's gonna be a long day. Whoa. It's not comfortable to eat with this thing, but it's doable. So, 8.44, got this thing on over an hour now. Um, I've actually gotta go to the dentist. This thing started at the dentist, it's ending at the dentist. I'm getting a bite guard. 
man, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. Uh, oh, what the hey? It's snowing out. It was a lot nicer last time we were here. <laughs> See all that snow? All right, so that was fast. They just like scanned my teeth with it. Man, I wish I would have took a picture of that. It was really funny, but uh, had this thing up. So this thing like turns off incrementally. Um, yeah, I just got to turn it back on. Headed back home now. Man, it's snowing. That is so crazy. Okay. Oh. This thing, uh, I think it ran out of batteries. Can you turn it on while, uh, oh, you can. Drying up in there, hold on. You can turn it on while it's charging. Don't know if that's the safest thing. Yo, I'm sorry guys, I gotta do this. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just done. Oh, so it's 11.48, so I only made it like just a little over four hours. I am sorry, I could not make it 12 hours. I mean, maybe I could, it just, dude, like, ugh, like, I don't know, man, just, oh. Like, honestly, my skin looks fine, everything seems fine, it was just like, I was just getting extremely agitated. We still just wore that thing for four hours and we've been wearing it for about three hours a day. But with that being said, I'm gonna take the rest of the day off and then tomorrow or maybe even the next day, we're gonna look at the abs and see if we got any results. What is up, Home Slice? It is time to look at the results. Did the ab stimulator device actually stimulate my abs? Let's find out. So I don't know about you, but when I do look at the before and after photos, in my opinion, I do look a little bit better in the after photos. And with the waist measurement, I'm actually about a half inch thinner in the waistline on the after side. Now, do I think the ab stimulator device worked and actually helped me achieve this slightly better look? I actually do think so. But how much do I think it worked? Not that well. In fact, I think I would have got just as good of results, if not better results, if I would have just trained abs every day for 20 minutes, heck, even 10 or less minutes, and I would have avoided all that uncomfortableness and just the grueling distraction that it was. Now, with that being said, something very important to understand, using this device or just throwing in a five to 20 minute session of abs into your workout routine isn't necessarily gonna give you visible abs if you have too much body fat or too much fat coverage over your abs. Probably the most important part regarding getting that chiseled six pack is reducing your body fat to reveal the abs underneath. But in my opinion, I do think training abs can help the muscles grow and push out, giving your abs a bigger look. And if you also cut fat at the same time, you know, you're gonna get accelerated results. With that being said, if you guys are interested in my bodyweight training program, Bodyweight Beast 2.0, I've been getting a ton of great feedback on that program. We have hard copies and digital downloads available. If you get a hard copy, you will get a complimentary digital download. And if you guys are interested right now till the end of this year, I am throwing in a $5 off coupon. Just use code FOCUS at the checkout. You will get $5 off all of my training programs on OnlyKindsFitness.com. Thank you all so much for all your positive feedback on that. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day. Stay tuned. More videos coming out. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.